Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to Technology Explorer. My name is Usman Chaudhary and today in this video you are, we are going to learn how to design this type of door um, in solid dust for CNC routing machine. So uh, we will uh, apply this border or design this border and this border and at the end we will also design these flowers. So keep watching this video till end or if you this video in Urdu, then the link is in the description of this video. Okay, let's start uh, by making a new part. Draw a sketch on front plane and uh, now select the uh, center rectangle from here and draw it from origin like this. Now define the width of this rectangle which is um, 3 feet. Press OK button and uh, then define the height of this uh, rectangle which is 6 feet. Now go to features tab and from there select extruded boss base command and uh, then type the extrusion thickness 3 inch and uh, then press OK button. Now I am going to make the border on uh, across this um, this area. So for that I will use swept command and for swept command I need two type of sketches. Uh, one is path and the other one is profile. So uh, for path let me sketch on this uh, on this face. Then make normal to by pressing Ctrl plus 8 key from your keyboard and then draw a corner rectangle like this. Then press escape button and uh, then uh, press and hold control key select origin and this midpoint and make the relation horizontal. Similarly once again the origin and uh, this midpoint make the relation of vertical between them. After that define the uh, distance from this line up to this line which is 3 inch. Also define this distance which is also uh, 3 inch and then press ok button uh, now uh, i have to draw this type of three point arc one on this corner and one on this corner like this now um, select the uh, both these arcs and make them equal now select this point and this point and uh, merge them by selecting this uh, relation merge points similarly for these two points uh, merge them now define the radius of this arc. So let's say 250 millimeter is the radius. So type here 250 and uh, then press OK button. Now select this point and uh, delete the relation which we had created uh, vertical relation. So uh, right click on midpoint and then delete it. Similarly uh, select this point and uh, delete its midpoint relation which we had created. So it was my mistake. Now define the distance from this line up to this line which is 3 inch and uh, also define the distance from this line up to this line which is also 3 inch. And now use trim entities command to, to trim both these lines and also these lines then press ok button or press escape key. Now use sketch fillet and uh, fillet all these corners uh, like this, this one. Uh, if you see this error then press ok button. So after that you can increase or decrease these uh, fillet radius from here and then press ok button. So now as you can see we have uh, successfully generated the path for our swap command and uh, now you can uh, press this button to save and exit from sketch mode. Now we have to draw another sketch as a which, we'll, uh, which uh, we will use as a profile. So uh, for that uh, we have to sketch on top plane. So for that it's like this the top plane and sketch on it. Press uh, control plus 8 key for normal to view orientation and if you can see the sketch is on uh, uh, the bottom side. Uh, if you want to see the sketch on the upside, press uh, control plus 8 key once again like this and uh, then draw a sketch for uh, the border, the cross sectional area of the border. So for that I am going to draw the um, circle and a three point arc uh, like this. Now draw a line um, started from this quadrant point up to this midpoint and up to this point. 
and uh, then use trim entities command and uh, trim this side of the circle also this side and uh, also delete, uh, trim this portion of the circle so uh, we have this closed region now uh, press ok button select this line into uh, construction geometry and uh, now uh, define the, the length of this line uh, which is 40 millimeter and then uh, define uh, the radius of both these arcs 50 and uh, also this arc 20 millimeter the radius now select um, this point and this line and make the pierce relation between them like this now uh, define the height um, height from this point up to this line and press ok button now uh, you can see our sketch is fully defined uh, so uh, now use uh, mirror entities command to mirror this sketch on the uh, opposite side so it is to mirror um, click on that box and then select this line this arc and this arc now click on uh, on the into a mirror about box this box and then select this line and then press ok button now as you can see our profile sketch is also uh, generated so press this button to save and exit from sketch mode now go to features tab and uh, from there select the swap command this one and uh, then uh, in the profile box uh, this one uh, select this sketch and in the path box uh, select this path or this sketch so here you can see the border then press ok button now we have to uh, draw some design on this face so sketch on this face and then make normal too and then draw a circle uh, like this then press escape key and select the this circle and uh, this are both these uh, entities and uh, make the concentric relation between them now define the diameter of this circle 340 millimeter and uh, then draw um, two lines start from here up to this point and like this and uh, make sure this line should be um, horizontal now define the distance um, between these lines so up this line and uh, up to this line the distance is 30 millimeter and this distance is also 30 millimeters now use uh, trim entities command and uh, trim uh, the circle and like this so press ok button after that um, go to features tab and from there select extruded both space command and uh, as uh, the height of the border was to 0 mm so type here to 0 mm height of this sketch and uh, then press ok button after that uh, use fillet command from features tab to fillet the top face of this um, and, and this extruded sketch so select this uh, this face and then press ok button now once again sketch on this face and then expand the boss extrude to and then select this sketch and press this button convert entities from sketch tab then select all these entities and then uh, click on offset entities so we are going to make these entities in, in offset uh, in the reverse direction so check this box and um, you can increase or decrease the distance from here after that um, check this uh, option for converting the uh, base geometry into construction geometry then press ok button now uh, go to a features tab and from there select extruded cut command and uh, cut up to 20 millimeter and press ok button now uh, once again use uh, fillet from features tab select this face and uh, this face and then press ok button now uh, same thing we are going to make uh, on this opposite side so for that once again uh, sketch on this face and uh, then draw a sketch so as you can see i have drawn the sketch 
as we have applied two features uh, one extrude board and one extrude cut on this side so here i'm going to do this uh, by another way so select all these uh, sketch and uh, then uh, go to sketch tab and from there select offset entities offset in the reverse direction and this time uh, uncheck this option uh, for construction geometry of base geometry and then press ok button after that uh, go to features tab and from there select extruded bow space command extrusion up to 20 millimeter and then press ok button now once again use fillet command and fillet this uh, face this face uh, this edge and this face also uh, fillet these uh, lines uh, both these lines so uh, um, uh, i forgot to add the fillet on these lines uh, of the first one um, uh, extrusion so now press ok button now i'm going to make the flowers on this face so for that select this face and uh, then sketch on it and uh, uh, then draw some circles one circle like this and another circle which is concentric to first one then define the uh, diameters of both these circles this circle has the diameter of 120 mm 100 mm and this one is 120 mm and uh, uh, instead of 120 type here 130 mm now convert uh, this into construction geometry after that draw one more circle uh, from this quadrant point like this and uh, then use trim entities command and uh, trim the circle like uh, like this then press ok button after that define the radius of this uh, circle which is uh, 40 mm now uh, go to um, click on this um, arrow in front of linear pattern and select circular sketch pattern and uh, then select the pattern axis um, uh, this circle so drag this point into the center of this circle like this and uh, then right click here and uh, click on clear section and uh, then select this arc uh, to be pattern so now uh, increase the quantity up to 5 and then press okay button so as you can see uh, both these um, lines are or arcs are intersecting into each other so decrease the uh, diameter or radius of uh, the arc up to 38 mm now uh, use trim entities command and trim uh, the uh, this circle like this now click on this circle and convert it from uh, construction geometry to normal entity so uh, now define the distance from this line up to the uh, center of the uh, circle uh, which is 100 mm and also define the center uh, from center of the circle up to this line 100 mm and then go to extruded bow space command and uh, extrusion up to 20 mm and one more thing which i have to tell you here uh, is the draft command if you click on this button draft and you will see uh, by increasing the degree or angle what happens so this is the draft command and uh, angle is uh, 19 mm uh, 19 degree so this is um, uh, what we are going to do so now use fillet and fillet all these edges like this so all these uh, edges are going to be fillet um and then press okay button now uh, once again click uh, or sketch on this face and then draw a circle uh, in the center of the flower and then define the diameter of this uh, the circle which is um 50 mm and then go to extruded bow space command extrude it up to 20 mm uh, but uh, let me apply the draft here so click on Uh, click on the required feature to edit it so click on it and then select edit feature and then uh, turn on the draft and increase the draft angle like this and then press okay button once again fillet command fillet this face uh, and uh, both these faces like this and uh, then press okay button
now we have to linear pattern this flower and to hold this area so for that click on linear pattern button here in the features tab and uh, in the direction 1 uh, select this line and in the direction 2 select this line if you scroll down uh, from here you will see features and faces to be uh, linear pattern so click on that box and expand the um, feature tree select this box extrude uh, for the flower this one and select this fillet also select this uh, box extrude and this fillet and uh, um, if you scroll up you will see in the direction 1 the quantity and distance and also in the direction 2 the quantity and distance increase the uh, quantity in the direction 1 up to 3 and uh, type here the distance which is 230 millimeter and as you can see uh, the pattern is going to on, on that side so uh, change the direction by pressing this button and uh, in the direction 2 um, also type the distance of 230 millimeter and uh, uh, increase the quantity up to 7 like this and uh, now one problem which is that um, uh, if you can see we uh, this this flower is unwanted we are not going to add it here and also this one so for that uh, if you scroll down and uh, uh, here if you can see this this one instances to skip so expand this option as you expand this op uh, option you will see the uh, center of all the pattern uh, instances uh, now turned into pink so uh, click on that point this point to uh, hide or um, get rid of that um, instance so this is how we can do the linear pattern now press uh, this button or ok button so we have designed the door in SOLIDWORKS now if you want to show your client how the actual door will look will looks like so for that we can change the appearance of uh, this door or this design so click on this appearance button here and then expand this exp uh, appearances or scenes and uh, scroll down and from there select or expand the organic and in the organic organic select the wood so uh, these all these are the types of wood select your desired type of wood or material and then double click on uh, the desired um, appearance to apply that appearance so this is how we can uh, make the door in solid wise i hope you have enjoyed and learned from this video don't forget to subscribe this youtube channel for more videos like this